Taking you live to Canberra now, we're listening to the Greens speaking. We've seen that both the Greens and Coalition Senators have been trying to halt debate on Labor's Housing Australia Future Fund bill. The Greens are commenting after that lively uh, exchange in the Parliament today. Let's listen in. around personal insults, insults rather than recognising that their job as the government is to work out a plan that actually starts to tackle the scale of the crisis. Now, we're taking this very seriously. We're meeting regularly. Party room will be meeting tomorrow to continue to discuss negotiations. We are treating this as our highest priority right now to try and tackle the scale of this housing crisis. In the very least, get a few extra billion dollars for public and affordable housing and something real and tangible for renters to give them a light at the end of the tunnel when right now they're staring down another year of record high rent increases. She really went after your moral fibre today saying that you're a man with a big ego, bigger than the issues at hand. What do you say to that? I just think that when uh, you run out of arguments to prosecute on around the detail of the housing bill, of course you're going to revert to personal insults. Let them do that. But what we're focused on is the millions of people across this country right now who need a roof over their heads. Like, this is a government that can stare people in the eye, look them in the eye and say, hey, we found $4.2 billion for a budget surplus, but we can't find a single extra dollar to invest in public and affordable housing. What does that say to those people? And let's be clear for a second, by the way. There are no policy or technical reasons why the government couldn't build more public and affordable housing right now. The own federal budget has predicted that private construction activity right now is declining at a significant rate, freeing up skills and construction materials that we could put to work building public and affordable housing. The budget has a surplus of $4.2 billion and we're in the middle of the worst housing crisis we've seen in a generation. Like, if we cannot convince the federal government to take real action on the housing crisis right now, when can we? When is it? Jackie Lambie this morning that there's currently, if, if you're delaying this bill, that just means more delays for people living in tents and caravans. Mm. How long are you willing to delay this? And what would you say to the people that need these houses so urgently? <clears throat> Well, it sounds like there is a way to go on that one with the Coalition and the Greens teaming up on that housing issue.